didn't go how I wanted. Arctic cold brought ice and sub-zero temperatures across Texas, disrupting the state's power grid and its ability to produce electricity. Paysetter Claims Service launches an innovative new claims handling platform. IAPath.com offers new CCC1 training for auto estimating. Crawford & Company announces their new Crawford Inspection Services for on-demand roof inspections and ladder assist. How an Oklahoma homeless shelter is taking steps to get, help get people out of the cold. And of course, our big story, which is the Texas deep freeze. But first, the knack of minute. Adjuster TV interviewed dozens of IA firms and adjusters at the 2021 National Association of Catastrophe Adjusters Convention and Job Fair this past January. Here's Chris Stanley from IAPath.com to talk about why he brought his company to the convention. Hey, my name is Chris Stanley. I'm the founder of IA Path, and IA Path is a mentorship company for insurance adjusters. It's done virtually, all online at iapath.com. I attended NACA because Matt begged me to over and over and over and said, this is the place to come if you want to meet people in person and let them get to know you, which in our industry, we know it's not about who you know, it's about who you're getting to know. So NACA is great for that. The benefits that uh, someone can get from attending NACA, being a part of something like NACA, is that you don't have to be all knowing about what the industry, what's happening in the industry. You kind of have a pulse on the industry without having to go digging around yourself. So I think being able to show up you know, either virtually or in person and be able to connect with a bunch of people to find out what's going on is invaluable. To find out more about getting an adjuster mentor, you can head over to iapath.com. For discounts on lodging gear, training, licensing, and CE, as well as one-on-one -on -one mentorships, join NACA right now at nacatadj.org. I'm a member, and I go to the conventions, and so should you. Coming up, learn about Paysetter's new Evo Scoper Writer Program and how you can get involved. My name is Matt, and my barber canceled my haircut and beard trim today at the very last minute. Thank you, COVID. You're watching Adjuster TV. As an adjuster, of all the things that you've got to have, there is really none more important than your state adjuster license, especially your very first one. You're gonna need it to do just about everything else. Some adjuster schools even require you to have one before they'll let you enroll. Adjuster TV has partnered with Adjuster Pro because Adjuster Pro provides a comprehensive and easy to use way to get and maintain adjuster licenses. Most importantly, Adjuster Pro was founded by independent adjusters and the team at Adjuster Pro is dedicated to helping you thrive as a claims professional. You'll find everything you need to get licensed in one place. Go to adjustertv.com slash adjusterpro right now. Oklahoma-based IA firm Paysetter rolls out their new Evo Scoper Writer Program for field adjusters and desk adjusters. Here's Cesar Sanchez, VP of Business Development at Paysetter, and Spencer Warden, Senior Director of Sales and Partnerships at Hover, to explain. The adjuster app was created by, by, by adjusters for adjusters because the only thing that has changed in, in the industry is how we gather the information for the estimate. So we recognized that um, about three years ago. What we know every adjuster does when they're out on the field and we digitize that and made it a navigation app that allows us to gather all the photographs, all the documentation uh, in very in-depth in, in, in a granular level. So we're able to gather information from a roof all the way from the top of material to how many layers to the underlayment uh, and then gathering all the information, measurements, all those things with additional tools like Hover, we kind of tied it all in together into one piece uh, so that the adjuster has all the tools right in front of them to produce a, a, a good document for a writer. With that, with that information, a writer, a writer can write a very, very solid uh, estimate because he took it very, very in depth. Uh, when this idea came about, that was the, the thinking uh, mode that we were going to have a bank of writers in our home office in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and just have writers writing claims out of that office. Well, now that we have this new challenge and, and uh, we know that remote work is probably going to be the thing of the future, uh, we switch gears and it's probably going to be remote work until things go back to normal. We would, 
we're probably thinking about having a combination of the two. Uh, we're, we don't want to miss out on good talent out there uh, by saying you can only be in this office. So we, we are open to that, to having the, re the remote writers. And this is another avenue to extend the career of some adjusters that may not want to be climbing roofs anymore, that may not want to be traveling to this cat locations, that may not want to be doing the cat life anymore. Uh, we know that we all get uh, wore out doing that for an extended period of time. So this will allow some of those guys to extend their career and continue to do what they love. And then on the other side, uh, as far as the uh, the scopers or the the uh, the field resources, uh, it allows us to bring uh, new blood into the industry. Uh, people that may not have a lot of experience uh, that want to get into the business. Uh, this app, this navigation app, uh, will help them and train them to become better adjusters because now they have uh, a tool that basically walks them through the, the steps of uh, of uh, capturing the information. But as far as the pay, is, it is very competitive. Uh, it, it is competitive. We're looking to, to bring a little more of a uh, work-life balance to this industry that we don't have right now. It's not available. You either work five months for you know 14 hours every day, and then you're off for however many months until we see another storm. Well, we're looking for a better way to uh, bring that, that work-life uh, balance. So I believe that's part also of the incentive and the pay structure. So if you like to be out on the field all day and you are done by seven or six at night, you're done. Uh, same thing for the rider. Uh, they're back at home riding a claim. Uh, so there's a value to that as well. So that was also taken into account uh, on how we compensate people, but we also see some value in that work-life balance that we bring to the table as well. Hi, my name is Spencer Warden, and I'm the Senior Director of Sales and Partnerships at Hover, responsible for Hover's enterprise insurance segment. We are incredibly excited and thrilled about the partnership with Pacesetter. Pacesetter is a very innovative and forward-thinking partner to us. Um, they're constantly thinking about not just where the industry is today, but where it's heading in six months, 12 months, 18 months down the road. Their new Evo program offers an innovative approach to claim handling that speeds up the process from data collection, damage verification, estimate writing, and overall claims processing. The sentiment we hear from our carrier partners is that they're very, very happy with the program and excited for future growth with Paysetter. As a technology provider specializing in 3D property data and measurement data, we are very excited about the relationship because it allows us to marry our platform capabilities with their inspection and estimate capabilities, making the overall process incredibly efficient and streamlined. If you would like to jump on the Evo program, either as a scoper or a writer, email Pacesetter's resource management team at dailyopportunities at pacesetterclaims.com. Next up, do you run auto claims? Would you like to learn about the CCC1 training you've been waiting for? Stay tuned. Hey, hey, Mr. Insured, how's it going? It's going great today, how are you doing? <laughs> Good. Right. This is actually Guy Grant from Veteran Adjusting School. So you wanna learn claims from the most experienced veteran adjusters, but you can't find anybody who will let you ride along with them? Then let me tell you about Adjuster TV Plus. Developed by Adjuster TV and its industry partners, including the high-end training center of Veterans Adjusting School in Arizona, Adjuster TV Plus is a growing library of in-depth training videos created just for independent adjusters. Learn scoping and estimating from professional trainers and adjusters. Learn how to handle customer interactions with confidence. Learn the ins and outs of scoping and estimating exterior hail claims. And detailed videos about how to handle smoke, ice dam, water claims, and auto claims. Adjuster TV Plus also features the very best of three years of Adjuster TV's YouTube videos. Educational, entertaining, and inspiring. Come ride along with us on Adjuster TV Plus. CCC1 is a vehicle estimating program that allows you to source parts, including pricing and availability in real time as you build your estimate. Or as I think you auto guys say, write a sheet. Well, iPath.com has announced that they are now offering a proctored CCC1 certification. There are two levels to the certification. Level one focuses on software proficiency, while level two is to test the speed of an adjuster writing auto hail claims. 
Adjusters will write a timed estimate while an IA Path instructor observes. Each certification has a time limit that must be beaten in order to achieve certification. To find out more, visit training.iapath.com. Interested in just doing on-demand roof inspections? Hang on through the break and find out how you can get ladder assist and roof inspections assignments sent right to your phone. If you're interested in getting the absolute best property claims training available, then I want to tell you about my friends over at Veteran Adjusting School in Sedona, Arizona. As a licensed vocational school, Veteran Adjusting School trains you to become a complete insurance adjuster with a focus on catastrophe property adjusting. When you graduate from the Voss Trained Insurance Adjuster Program, you're ready to begin your exciting new career, whether as a daily adjuster or as a cat adjuster. Listen, there are many outstanding adjuster schools out there and you have to get some training somewhere. But Voss stands out among its peers for the depth and breadth of its program, as well as its continuing support and mentorship for graduates long after students become working adjusters. Go to adjustertv.com slash VAS now and chat with an enrollment specialist who will answer all of your questions and help you decide if Voss is the right choice for you. Adjustertv.com slash VAS. Crawford just launched their new digital solution that will allow carrier adjusters and others to connect directly with ladder assists and roof inspectors via their CIS mobile and desktop app. This is yet another great income stream for independent field adjusters looking to stay busy in the off season or to supplement local work for you daily adjusters out there. Check out this short video explaining how it all works. Hi, I'm Leslie with Crawford and Company, and I'm here to tell you about a new and exciting service. Crawford Inspection Services is a new solution from Crawford & Company On Demand Services that provides ladder assists and roof inspections. Our roof inspectors can climb any roof no matter how steep. On ladder assist assignments, our roof inspector will meet an adjuster on site and provide a ladder. They will assist the adjuster with documenting the property and will submit a detailed photo report. Roof inspectors are also capable of handling roof inspections solo without an adjuster present. Roof inspectors can apply to work with Crawford Inspection Services through our convenient mobile apps or on our website. Each roof inspector will provide a detailed breakdown of their experience, software knowledge, and equipment. Each can set the distance they are available to travel for assignments. All roof inspectors must pass a comprehensive criminal background check prior to working with Crawford Inspection Services. Clients can place an order for a ladder assist or roof inspection at any time using our convenient order form. Our advanced matching algorithm will filter roof inspectors based on their experience, skill set, and equipment to make sure each job is filled by a qualified individual. Roof inspectors are notified when there is a job available that they qualify for within their travel radius. They can see the location, inspection date, and pay rate for each assignment prior to accepting. When a roof inspector arrives on site for an inspection, they'll use our mobile app to capture images of the roof. They will document its condition and photograph any damage. Each inspection also includes a 3D modeling report, which our roof inspector will complete while they're on site. After a roof inspector completes an assignment, the report will be reviewed by our QA team. After we're sure that the report meets our standards, it will be posted on the client portal. Clients have access to download a copy of our report that can be imported into Xactimate. Visit the Crawford Inspection Services site to download our app or to learn more about roof inspector opportunities. The platform is open to the market with opportunities available in the following states, Florida, Pennsylvania, Maryland, Virginia, Washington, D.C., Georgia, Texas, Louisiana, and North Carolina. Additional states and services will be added in 2021. For more information and to get signed up, head over to cis.claims.global. Stay tuned for our big story, the Texas Deep Freeze, coming up next. Sick of working for the man? Tired of not living the dream? Ask your doctor about Adjuster TV. While other independent adjuster channels talk about the dream, only Adjuster TV works differently by blocking the receptors that cause poor claims handling, an underlying cause of not living the dream. And one prescription Adjuster TV relieves a broad range of seasonal income allergies for a full seven days. Some side effects have been reported, but are generally mild. 
child and may include dizziness, giggling, sleep eating, buying a ladder. Do not take Adjuster TV if you are allergic to air. Do not take Adjuster TV with milk or other liquids as spontaneous nasal eruptions have been reported. Ask your doctor if you can take Adjuster TV at your current boring day job. Do not take Adjuster TV if you do not know who this guy is. Do not feed Adjuster TV after midnight. Do not take Adjuster TV while flying or while invisible. Ask your doctor about once a week Adjuster TV. Adjuster TV. Now you're living the dream. Arctic cold brought ice and sub-zero temperatures across Texas, disrupting the state's ability to produce electricity and even deliver basic services and goods like groceries. The lack of power meant homes and businesses were left without heat during the coldest days of the storm. The cost of the deep freeze could potentially exceed $125 billion by some estimates, making this rare weather event more costly than Hurricane Harvey, as every county in the entire state has been affected. However, Texas wasn't the only state affected by the frigid temps. Most of the Midwest, Southern Plains, and Southeast saw freezing temps or storms and tornadoes created by the crazy weather. We talked to Megan Mueller at the Homeless Alliance in Oklahoma about how they're handling the influx of people coming in out of the cold. I'm Megan Mueller. I'm the Associate Executive Director of the Homeless Alliance. We are standing in the day shelter. The purpose of this place is to really provide a safe place for people to come during the day. The weather has actually drastically changed our operations. Um, we have kind of shifted to running 24-7 um, because right now it's just simply too cold for people to be outdoors for any, any amount of time. Um, and so we have seen a lot of people coming indoors. Um, we're really shifted to kind of bare bones, like basic survival services right now. So just providing a warm place indoors, providing meals, um, essential items like gloves, shoes, socks, um, just really getting people out of the cold. This is absolutely unprecedented. I've worked here for about eight years. Um, never have I seen anything like this. Um, and we're really trying to communicate that to folks as well. Um, so we've really ramped up our street outreach efforts. Um, a lot of folks that we've been talking to, you know, they're telling us, I'm a survivor, I've, I've been through cold before, and we're trying to tell folks this is a different level of cold. Oklahoma hasn't seen this level of cold. Please, like, you know, come inside and, and get warm. The best way to, to see what our current needs are is to check our website and our social media. Um, so that website would be homelessalliance.org or on Instagram. Um, Twitter, Facebook, Homeless Alliance. We encourage you to donate to your local food banks and homeless shelters all through the year and not just during natural catastrophes. And here with more on the deep freeze is our own weather correspondent and percussionist, Max Olson. Take it away, Max. Thanks, Matt. An absolutely crazy month here in the Southern Plains when it comes to extreme weather. We spent over a week below freezing with multiple nights reaching temperatures below zero, just something you don't commonly see this far south. We also had heavy impacts from the snow and ice. This all started around February 8th and 9th here in Oklahoma City, where we had a icing event which led to dozens upon dozens of accidents in the metro area, as well as multiple pileups on I-40 and I-35. A few days later, on February 11th in the Dallas-Fort Worth metro area, we had a pileup of over 100 cars, which led to at least six deaths. Fast forwarding a couple more days, we still had not gotten out of those freezing temperatures, and we had our first big snowfall. Multiple areas in Oklahoma received over six inches of snow, places in Texas received ice. This was followed by yet another storm system with more snow and more ice, as well as those cold temperatures. It was a brutal stretch and one that we have not seen like this in the Southern Plains in well over a decade. In fact, this will likely be one of the most costly severe weather events in the state of Texas, perhaps even rivaling or topping Hurricane Harvey in 2017. Myself and my storm chase partner, Evan Hatch, ventured out into the snowy weather to see how it was impacting the local residents. Here you can see a driver barely able to maintain control of his vehicle. We saw multiple people shoveling, something that you're used to seeing if you're from Colorado like I actually am, but not something you're commonly seeing down here for multiple days on end. Now, of course, these sub-zero temperatures led to pipes freezing and bursting. I had numerous friends that were actually impacted by this, and they're still without a home or apartment because it was completely flooded out by those pipe bursts. Down in Texas is 
obviously where we had the major emergency with those power outages. I even had some friends in the Dallas metro area that essentially had to evacuate to Oklahoma where there was still some power and stay with friends because they had been without electricity for so long that they just had to go somewhere that was warm. And with most of the state out of power, they had to go all the way here to central Oklahoma. I got very fortunate where I live. I only lost power for a few hours one night and didn't have any pipes burst. While just down the road, people are still homeless because their pipes burst and just completely completely flooded out their entire house. An absolutely crazy situation, still ongoing even though we do have warmer temperatures. In fact, last week we got into the 70s, which led to a rapid thaw, probably making the situation a little worse for some individuals, but we're thankful to be out of that cold stretch and it looks like we can stay that way for the foreseeable future. In fact, we may even start getting our first glimpses of severe weather in the form of hail, potentially even tornadoes, but thunderstorm type situation here over the coming weeks. The pattern looks overall pretty favorable for at least one or two severe weather events in the coming weeks. So we're gonna be staying closely glued to that. Stay tuned here to Adjust Your TV for more severe weather coverage as we get further into the spring. We're gonna be doing live updates from the field as well as these monthly recaps. Stay safe out there guys, back to you Matt. Thanks, Max. It's important to keep in mind that we haven't even started the spring storm season. So if you're a new adjuster and you missed this one, never fear. Use this time to continue your licensing, getting caught up on your CE, picking up more carrier certifications through your IA firm partners, and for the love of Pete, keep practicing with Xactimate. Estimating software is by far the biggest limiting factor for an adjuster's success. If you're not fluent or at least know where everything is and how to find pricing, you're going to struggle on your first deployments. My advice, practice a little bit every day. You don't have to spend five hours a day to achieve mastery. I would say you don't even have to spend an hour a day. So here's my advice for building proficiency and fluency in software like Xactimate. After you're done watching this, pretend that you've got a two foot by two foot water spot on the ceiling in the room that you're sitting in and then scope the room, get the dimensions of the room, take a couple of overview shots of the room, then an overview shot of the that shows the pretend water spot and the context of the room showing like a window or a door so we know where it is. Then get a close up or two of the area where your water spot is, showing the water spot. Next, jump into Xactimate and import and label your photos, very important. Then either create a sketch diagram for your room, complete with windows and doors and their measurements, or use the dimensioning tools in the grouping tree, then write a small estimate for repairing that water spot. You can write it however you want to, but here are my suggestions. Drywall, drywall texture, or an acoustic treatment of some kind, some blown in insulation, and if you're not sure, just pop your head up into your attic and take a look. Ceiling and painting the ceiling, maybe some masking, and maybe some debris removal, like maybe a quarter or a half a pickup truck load, something like that. Write an activity diary entry and practice going over the numbers with your spouse, cat, or favorite house plant. Do a little small estimate workflow like this every single day before you ever get deployed, and you'll be able to hit the ground running when you get your shot at the big dance. If you wanna see how I move through Xactimate for free, head on over to adjustertv.com slash Xactimate. And remember, success is not final, failure is not fatal, it is the courage to continue that counts. According to the internet, Winston Churchill said those words. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next month. <laughs>